is that some people shouldn't be verified. What does that mean? You mean the people that you agree with politically? Like, and she referenced Wikipedia, by the way. Wikipedia is very well known to have a very heavily skewed left wing bias as well. It's man, it's just it's corrupt, man. Freedom of speech is the is the front line, right? But Bitcoin's right be right behind it. If we don't fight for freedom of speech, the right to speak freely, then they're gonna take away the right to transact, right? So, or they're gonna try. Bitcoin's really anti-fragile. Freedom of speech is the front line, right? If you think that governments don't want you to say third and things because that's that's what they want, right? Do you think that they're going to allow you to transact? Do you think they're going to allow you to use an uncensorable money? That's the next thing they're going to go after, right? It's just common sense, right? This is very scary stuff. What we've been covering over the last couple months is this push by governments in Europe and the United States and the so-called democracies to censor the internet, censor speech, and it's, it's very very, very troubling. And uh, a video came out today of uh, the, you know, the new DHS Bureau of Misinformation. And she, uh, she had some things to say. And great, we have a, a you know, a, a candidate for Congress, and I would love to get her thoughts on this. It's, it's absolutely crazy. It's dystopian. I think that the government has no business in deciding what is true and what is not. So let's check this out. Um, and I am eligible for it because I'm verified. But there are a lot of people who shouldn't be verified who aren't, you know, legit, in my opinion. I mean, they are real people, but they're not um, trustworthy. Anyway, so verified people can um, essentially start to edit Twitter the, the same sort of way that Wikipedia is, so they can add context to certain tweets. Um, so just as an easy example, not from any political standpoint, if President Trump were still on Twitter and tweeted a claim about voter fraud, someone could add context from one of the 60 lawsuits uh, that went through the court or uh, something that an election official in one of the states said, perhaps your own secretary of state uh, <laughs> and and his news conferences, something like that, adding context so that people um, have a fuller picture rather than just an individual claim on a tweet. So it's, it's absolutely terrifying. And look, it, put her example aside, right? The reality is that about 40% of the country believes that something happened in the election. I'm not going to get into that, right? So who is this person? to essentially add context. That's the whole point of freedom of speech, right? That's why the founding fathers made it so, right? Because at the end of the day, the person who controls speech is going to use that for their own political gain at the end of the day, right? So, but it's not also in the United States. This is extremely troubling. It's also happening in Europe. This is another tweet. The EU commission is expected to push the draft law on chat control tomorrow. Lawmakers seek AI-based checks of all message content and images directly on users' devices. Critics say that this is an attack on on the digital privacy of correspondence. I absolutely agree. That is dystopian. What do you mean chat control, right? And is that going to affect Signal? And why am I talking about this if this is a Bitcoin show? Look, freedom of speech is the front line, right? If you think that governments don't want you to say third and things because that's that's what they want, right? Do you think that they're going to allow you to transact? Do you think they're going to allow you to use an uncensorable money? That's the next thing they're going to go after, right? It's just common sense, right? This is very scary stuff. So Jane, if you do get elected to Congress, what are your thoughts on this? This is very scary stuff. Are you going to fight back against the Biden administration's new Ministry of Information? This is very scary stuff. I know there's members of Congress like Rand Paul that uh, wants to introduce a bill to defund it altogether. So what are your thoughts? I agree with Rand Paul. Absolutely. It reminds me of the book by George Orwell, 1984, where they had the Ministry of Truth. And basically, what they would do is correct the record and history to reflect what would make sense to match what they were saying today. So essentially it was the Ministry of Lies. And I see this as similar and it's really scary actually. I would never want the government deciding what is truth and what is not. And they're also already in control of our books, our education. So that's just something else they're going to decide to suggest. I mean, a lot of our history is wrong in states anyway, and we're still being taught it. This is just going to make it worse. They're just going to enslave us and it's just a step closer to 
complete control of the individual. Absolutely. And that's absolutely what some in the government, particularly in this moment in history, that's what the left wing is pushing forwards to do. So I completely agree. Phil, what are your thoughts on this? I, I just uh, I just want to point out, right, if if you want to add context to people's tweets right now, you could just retweet you or add comment. a comment. You could comment. Or, or comment. No, but, they, but she wants an but, official response, right? This is and, and she had a Freudian slip too as well, is that some yeah. people shouldn't be verified. What does that mean? You mean the people that you agree with politically? Like, And she referenced Wikipedia, by the way. Wikipedia is very well known to have a very heavily skewed left-wing bias as well, right? So it's, man, it's just, it's corrupt, man. Phil, what are your thoughts? It's not your tweet anymore, right? As soon as you can have somebody at a, and quote unquote, a verified person. So again, we're going back to the whole central entity verifying somebody what are their what are their beliefs their ideologies deciding on 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 who is verified and who's not and then after that it's just no longer your tweet anymore so this goes back to your original point about freedom of speech it's it's just gone yeah it doesn't exactly. even exist you're, you're reading somebody else's story sorry jane yeah it's like what they said in 1984 freedom is slavery it's the same thing now it's, it's basically saying if we have the right to see too openly going to destroy our society it's going to destroy our culture and the government needs to have the right to control it. Also, the Ministry of Truth God wars peace. And I heard someone from Ukraine, I think it was uh, uh, someone from the government say that war is peace. They say we need weapons right now. It sounds unusual, but war means peace. And when I heard that, I, I felt immediately that we were definitely going down the wrong path. Absolutely. It's it's very scary. And, you know, just to comment a little bit on, on, the, on the law that's being pushed in Germany and where, you know, this AI goes through things to make sure that you're not saying the wrong things or not. How long until, yeah. you know, they, they say they can't allow Bitcoin because, and they're already trying to do that, right? And you're up there also going after what? Self-custody. Why? Because self-custody allows you to transact with everybody. So it's all the same front, right? Freedom of speech is the, is the front line, right? But Bitcoin's right, be right behind it. If we don't fight for freedom of speech, the right to speak freely, then they're going to take away the right to transact, right? So, or they're going to try. Bitcoin's really anti-fragile but it's very very scary stuff let's see how it plays out